Hey guys, so before I begin, I thought it was important for me to just say thank you. Thank you for all your comments, all your love, and all your of your support. It really means a lot to me. I've especially noticed a lot of positivity and a lot of support on my last couple of videos. So I just wanted to say thank you and let you know that I'm really grateful to you. I'm especially grateful to those who have taken the time out to subscribe to me. By you subscribing to me, it lets me know that whatever it is that I say not only resonates with you, but that you have really taken the time out to go along on this journey with me. So I thank you all so, so, so much, and I'm really, really grateful to you. Now, even if you haven't subscribed, that is okay, because I tell you, every time I go to my videos and I see that my numbers are going up, it's really surprising to me, because I think to myself, people are actually watching these videos. It makes me feel good, because just from all your comments, I see that the videos are doing what I um, intended for them to do, which is to inspire you and to just show you my experience and what has been going on with me and helping you somehow along your journey as well. So thank you all so much. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your positivity. Thank you for your feedback. And especially thank you for watching and subscribing. I love you all. So with that being said, let's go on to the video. Hey you all, so I'm back with a review of the Curly Girl The Handbook by Lorraine Massey. So because there are so many videos here on YouTube reviewing of people reviewing this book, I wanted to make my review as straightforward, as concise, and as um, to the point as I possibly can. So let's begin. When you first open the book, there's a DVD. And the DVD pretty much gives you a visual form of the method of hair care that she gives in the book. The structure of the book is set up to where Lorraine first begins talking about her journey, and she called that girl meets curl. This is, this is that section. She goes into what hair actually is, this is her speaking about the cuticle and what to do in order to close it and so on and so forth. She goes into the types of curls. This is corkscrew. And she also gives pictures. And this is to help you to figure out your spring factor, which is how much shrinkage you actually get from when you pull your hair to when you let it go. And this also helps with how to take care of your hair uh, when you get to those sections which are specifically set up for your hair curl. She goes into the basics of the curly girl method. She talks about what it is and what it isn't, what you should not use, and what you should use. So that's all we call it. And then she goes into curl care. And the curl care section is broken down into the curl type. So if you want to know how to take care of, or once you have identified in the beginning what your curl type is, then you can go to that specific session, section and um, see what she says about that curl and how to take care of it, how to wash it, how to apply gel, so on and so forth. She also has a section on multicultural curls, which is curls that are, you know, of African American, biracial. Lorraine Massey actually did not write this section. There is a woman, her name is Vida. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce her last name, but it's spelled V L A D I R L. She apparently is a stylist at her Diva Sean salon. And she talks about her transition to natural, what she's learned, and she's giving some of her tips and tricks for um, those of us who maybe were relaxed and are deciding to transition or are doing a big chop and so on and so forth. So that's awesome. And then she goes into the zigzag and fractional curls. This book is chock full of information. It talks about coloring, curly hair, 
It talks about cutting your hair. It even has recipes. And my favorite recipe in this book is called Love is in the Hair. Really good stuff. Well, I've seen reviews of other people saying that it was an easy read. Um, it really, really is. It's straightforward. It's to the point. Everything is pretty much in layman's terms. Um, it's set up in such a way that those of us who don't understand hair, who don't understand the, uh, the structure of hair, um, can really understand it, but can have that understanding in the most simple way possible. It's an awesome reference book. I got, I got this book about three weeks ago, and I still find myself picking it up and rereading sections that I've already read. So I really love that. Also, I didn't read this book all the way through. Um, I read it through, all the way through, up until it got to the curl types and how to take care of them. And then I, you know, skipped my curl type, read that, and then I read the, the portion on trimming. I went to the portion about the recipes. And I like that because you can jump around. You don't have to read the book all the way through, although you can, but you don't have to. There's also a section in here um, about children's curls. I love that because my daughter um, also has curly hair. So the pros for me are that it has a lot of information. All the information is very simple, very straightforward, um, and it's very concise and you can definitely understand what's being said. I'm a very visual person. I'm an artist. So not only do I like to read things, but I like to see them and see them demonstrated as well. I learn better that way. So I really do love that there's a DVD in here and it just gives you a visual of how to wash your hair, how to trim it, um, and you know, so on and so forth and different styles. And I don't have that many cons. I think it might only be one con. I would have liked to have seen more, more of a visual of those models that maybe have tighter, curly hair um, to see, get a visual of how they actually wash their hair, how they take care of their hair. For instance, I mean, there's this woman here. She is pretty much the model for, you know, the fractional zigzag, and they show her washing her hair. But I would have liked to have seen also maybe a model with tighter curly hair, or more coily hair, cottony hair, such as this model. So I can, I would have liked to have seen, you know, maybe her washing her hair, her adding the product to her hair, to see how much she adds. As I explained before, um, I do have more of a cottony section in the front, so I think that would have really helped me. But all in all, it's beneficial because, you know, I just add more conditioner just in case if I don't know, it's just better to add more than to add less. So that's, only, that's the only con for me. Before I picked up this book, I went and I did a lot of research on the Curly Girl Method, watching videos, and I did that because, you know, at the time I was like, you know, maybe I don't need to get the book, I can just Google it and see what other people are saying. Now here's the thing. There are a lot of sites, um, I think there might be a Wikipedia site and things where they list what the curly girl method is. One of the first things I found that everybody says is that if you're going to start the curly girl method, you have to wash your hair with a sulfate, yes, a sulfate shampoo. I'm happy I got this book because it does not say that at all in this book. Now. It could be maybe it was in the first edition because, you know, this is the second edition of this book and I don't know, I don't have the first edition, but a lot of people are saying that. I'm so happy I picked up this book because she does not say that in this book. So I want to say that the information out there is kind of misleading. What she does say about the soul, uh, the shampoos that have sulfates in them that if you use the shampoo with sulfate, not only does it frizz out your hair, it dries out your hair, but the sulfate in the shampoo stays in your hair so long that it takes gallons of water in order to get rid of it from the hair. 
So she does not say in this book at all that in order to start this method, you need to totally strip your hair using a sulfate shampoo. Now, if there's someone out there that maybe has the first edition that where it says that in the book, let me know because I would love to hear that. So anyway, that's all I have to say. The book, I give the thumbs up that if you've been thinking about buying it, then definitely, you know, look into it because it is a good book and it's nice to have, especially for us curlies. So hopefully this helps someone out there and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.